is up, guys. Thank you so much for checking out another video, guys. I really appreciate that. If you could hit that like button, that would be awesome. And if you're new to the channel and you want more videos on gold, silver, all things precious metals, make sure you subscribe and definitely hit that notification bell down on the right-hand side so you know when I post new videos. So today is a subject that I've touched on on a lot of different videos. Many, many times I've touched on this subject, but now I'm going to focus in on it. I'm going to zero in on it and really give you guys some insight on how gold and silver really helps you save money. And it has changed my life personally. So I am speaking from experience. I'm not just saying it to pump gold and silver. I'm saying it from experience. And sometimes all it takes is somebody to tell you. You just need to hear it from a silver stacker that's been there, um, that's been in debt, that's been financially unstable, and has found uh, a little stability because of gold and silver. I could honestly say that I have become way more financially stable because of gold and silver. And that was really not my intention when I first got in. I, I got into gold and silver for many different reasons, and that was actually not really one, but that's something that I realized and over the years, you know, probably after like a year or two, after I first started stacking, I really noticed that I'm starting to save some money. I mean, I got a little bit of a stack here and I'm actually accumulating some money, you know, and that's something I was never able to do. Um, I was one of those people that always buys things they don't need. I'm very tempted by uh, materialistic things I don't need. For an example, I have five guitars. <laughs> Do I need five guitars? Absolutely not. I love them and I play them and I rotate them, but I'm not a professional musician. And, you know, let's be honest, the resale value on some of those guitars, I will never get back. Now, when you're buying gold and silver, you're getting a couple things. So what I've noticed is I like receiving things in the mail. I like seeing something with my name on it and getting excited for packages to arrive and that was kind of one of the factors of why um, I would do these impulse buys. Now, when you're doing with gold and silver, the best thing is, is you're actually buying money. You're buying something that's always gonna have a really good resale value and it could actually appreciate, could actually do the opposite of most things that we buy. You can't say that for a, a, probably 95% of the things we buy, that it's gonna either appreciate or at least resell for the same value. So um, I know a lot of you guys don't understand how people can't save, but listen, I understand 110%. Silver and gold stacking has literally changed my life and I noticed it. Um, it really started to make me more disciplined and really started to make me pay attention to what I'm buying, what I really don't need and those impulse buys have really stopped, especially over the last few years, they've really just come to a halt. And it has a lot to do with watching videos like this. You see guys laying out all this gold and all this silver and you're like, man, I would love to have that coin. I would love to have that stack. I would love to have, you know what I mean? And that is a motivating factor. Now the opposite end of that, it could also be disheartening. And I understand that too. You can see guys unloading tons of gold and I mean, hundreds of ounces of gold and thousands of ounces of silver. And, you know, it's almost disheartening, especially for the newer stacker that has nothing, you know, even one ounce, you know, and you see thousands of ounces. You gotta realize <clears throat> the people that are able to do that are not in your financial situation. Everybody has their own financial situation. And I guarantee that every single person you see doing that did not start that way. They started with one, two, three, four ounces of silver, a gram of gold, and have accumulated over the years. And that's where the discipline comes in. Over time, you're not gonna be paying attention. You're gonna see your stack growing and growing and growing. One day you're gonna lay it out and you're gonna be like, holy moly, I have a ton of gold and silver now. And it's all money. It's all savings. Whatever I want to do with it, it is here. Now, side note, there's a couple things. 
So yes, gold and silver force you to save money and it has changed my life personally. And I really think it could help a lot of you guys if you start buying even just a little bit of gold and silver every so often to put some money away. Um, you gotta realize that it stops you from making those impulse buys. In order to get the cash, the liquidated cash for this gold and silver, there's a process. So that in itself um, locks up your cash. You can't make those impulse buys. If you are one of those people that cruise with a bare minimum checking account and you're buying this stuff, you're gonna have to go sell this and that alone will give you time to think about what you're about to buy or stop you altogether because it's a hassle. You gotta pack it up, you gotta take pictures, you gotta put it online, or you gotta drive somewhere and then most likely that whoever you're trying to sell it to privately or a coin shop or a pawn shop are all gonna undercut what you paid. So those are all deterrents. Um, another thing, you do not wanna stack on debt. So I believe in buying a lot of this stuff with your credit cards, especially if they have the cash back. If you get 1% or 2% cash back, um, even though it's only 1%, trust me, it will add up over time. And I have used those cash back um, options on the credit cards to actually get free gold, free silver over time because I do buy a lot and I do sell a lot, especially recently. So, um, you know, but if you're, I, I don't wanna say you need to be debt free because there's not a lot of us that are debt free and who knows how long it would take you to be debt free, but you really should at least have your debt under control. It should be a reasonable amount of debt that is under control, meaning your credit cards are not full to the max. Um, I would say definitely pay that off first. It makes no sense to try and save money by doing this when you're paying 18% to 24% or whatever your interest is on those credit cards. Um, you're actually going in the wrong direction. So you wanna get those credit cards at least manageable. $50 payments every month, that's manageable. Um, you know, But you don't want to start loading up these credit cards. If you do use your credit cards to buy gold or silver, make sure you pay it right away because it's the same thing. If you don't, <laughs> you're gonna pay interest on that gold and silver. In order to make one or 2% cash back, you're you're, if you leave it there, you're ending up paying 18 or 20%. So it makes no sense. So be very smart with how you navigate your finances, especially when you're buying with your credit cards. Make sure you pay them right away. Always, always. Don't say, oh, I'll pay it You know, two months from now. Does not make sense. You need to pay it right away. If you have the cash in your checking account, use your credit card, get the cash back, and then pay that sucker off. What I do, is if I spend $200 on something, I usually pay 220 or 215 or 225. And that starts knocking down your credit cards while you're buying gold and silver. Those little $5 extra, $10 extra really starts to add up big time. So um, that's some advice for you right there. But this is by far the best way that I have found to save money. And um, it's really helped me out big time. And I know a lot of you can really benefit from buying gold and silver. Like I said, not only does it lock your money, but it could appreciate over time. And you know, your goals might change down the road. You might say, instead of this being my savings or for retirement, I'm gonna use this towards my kid's uh, college fund. Or if you're a younger guy and you're 18, you know, 17, 18 years old, whatever, um, I'm gonna start stacking in order to slowly pay off my uh, college fund or whatever. I mean, it really locks up your money and it does wonders for anyone that has trouble saving money. So I highly suggest it. Uh, even if you don't believe that gold and silver will go up, even if uh, you, you're not a prepper or anything like that, just for the sole fact of locking up your cash and having something with stability, and that is basically untouchable. It can be very hard to spend this money. Gold and silver is the way to go. And if you want any more advice on you know, what I've done over the years to really accelerate my stacking and essentially accelerate my savings, 
shoot me an email and I will you know go further into detail or I'll make another video going further into detail but um, this is for anyone that is looking for gold and silver as an investment or you know has really had trouble saving money this is that's really what this video is about so all right guys that's pretty much it and um, you know even if you're buying these heavy premium pieces there's still resale value in those so uh it doesn't even matter you're gonna notice once you start stacking for a while if you're buying stuff that's close to spot you're gonna end up seeing that uh you're slowly gonna start buying things like this um if you develop that love for gold and silver and beautiful pieces uh it's just gonna happen naturally it's happened to most of us and i see it to a lot of a lot of people on youtube you know, first they start off with generics or eagles only, and then all of a sudden they start buying these beautiful pieces. You just can't control it once you develop that love for gold and silver, and there's nothing wrong with that. This is a healthy hobby, put it that way, and you'll be all right. So anyways, guys, uh, you know, look through your subscriptions. If you don't use any of those, I guarantee you there's money to be saved there and find ways to cut some corners and you will definitely have enough to start stacking and putting away a nice little chunk of savings so all right thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you guys later